Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create logo files for your clients. So I have my logo here and there are basically two extensions. One is a paid extension, it's called Logo Package Express. And the other one is a free alternative and it's called Logo Packer. I also wrote an article where I show you how to create the Logo Package manually. But we have this free alternative to Logo Package Express, which is called Logo Packer. Find link in the description. So let me show you how it works. So I have my logo here. Now depends on what type of logo you have, but usually you're gonna have some logo mark. You're gonna have a logo type and you may have a slogan and the whole thing is called a signature or just a logo. I'm just gonna select the logo mark. I'm gonna make sure I have the logo mark selected right here and I'm gonna set the client name. I'm just gonna say eBay design logo mark, right? I'm gonna drop this right here. And as you can see, the extension will automatically create various artboards with various color versions of your logo. We have the brand color, we have the black version and the white version, right? And I'm just gonna do the same with the logo type. I'm gonna switch here to logo type. I'm gonna select the logo type and drop it right here. It's gonna create a new file and create those artboards for us. And I'm gonna do the same and I'm just gonna call it just the logo. I can actually call it a signature, which is the full logo, right? I'm just gonna drop it here. And again, it's gonna start creating the artboards for you. And then once it's done, all you have to do is just go here, make sure you select all the files that you want, right? So I'm just gonna select all of them. And again, you will have to do this for digital first and then for print. I'm just gonna hit export files. And I'm just gonna do the same for the logo type, and then I'm gonna do the same for the signature. And once it's done, this is how it's gonna look like. You're gonna have different folders right here. So let's say, let's just preview the PNG. We have different, even different sizes, right? So we have a black version, we have a color version, we have a white version. And the same for the logo type. We have a black version, we have a color version, and we have a white version. And the same for the signature, right? Black, color, and white. And by the way, you can visit my article to make sure you understand what files you need to send to your client. But basically, this is a free alternative to this expensive tool that basically does the same. I hope you enjoyed this video and follow for more tips on logo design, branding and graphic design. And I will see you in the next video.